everyone, it's Bethany, and in this video I am going to be working on making some paper flowers with the Cricut Joy. So I thought I would show you what I'm doing and um, we'll see how these turn out. So I am going to be making three separate ones and I have three different um, pieces of material. So the first material I'm going to use is this really pretty watercolor paper. Um, it's double-sided, so I just was curious to see how double-sided um, paper would work and I think it will be really neat to have some added interest on the back side of the flower and then I'm also going to use this double sided um, it's the same color on each side but this is just plain cardstock and it's a nice blush color and then finally I wanted to try uh, making a little flower with vellum so I had a little piece left over from some party invitations I made and I thought it would be fun to see what a vellum flower would look like. So we're going to do those three materials and we're going to use our Cricut Joy mat. I have the light grip mat which is best for working with paper because it's very delicate. And then for tools I have this paper tool. I'm not sure what it's called but I will show you more about this in a little bit. I have that. I have a little spatula and then I have some tweezers and the spatula and tweezers are mainly for just helping get the material off of the mat. Okay, oh, also a hot glue gun because that is going to help connect the little flowers after we roll them up. So let's hop into Design Space. I'm gonna show you where you can find the paper flower templates and we'll get started. Okay, so now we're in Cricut Design Space and I am going to come over to Images right over on the left-hand side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come up to All Images right at the top and then I'm gonna click Image Sets. So what this does is it allows me to search through the image sets to find a whole cartridge of images that I am looking for and sets that I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and type in flower shop and shop is spelled S-H-O-P-P-E -E for this particular cartridge or image set. And I'm going to go ahead and click enter and then the first one that comes up is called flower shop. It has 50 images. I'm going to go ahead and click that and then inside you're going to see a lot of different templates that you can use for creating 3D flowers and they're all really really cool. So I'm actually going to use this one right here. I've also used this before in another tutorial that I did where I made felt flowers with the Cricut Maker. So I will place a link for that if you want to see. It's really, really neat because you can see how um, something like this, which doesn't look quite like a flower quite yet, um, it's really neat to see the process of this turning into a fun rolled flower. So I'll go ahead and click this one. I'm going to go ahead and insert my image. And then as you know, the Joy has some size restrictions with it. So we just need to be mindful of that. So how we'll do that is we are going to, if we make this too big, we'll see a alert that pops up in our layers panel over here. And if you click on that alert, it's just going to say that the image is too large and you're going to need to reduce it. It does say that the you can reduce it to four and a half, but remember the four and a half is for the matless cutting. So in this instance, since we're putting this material on a mat, we need to stay at 4.25 or smaller. So I'm going to actually do the 4.25 because I want it to be as big as I can get it. So I went ahead and just typed in four 4.25 up here in our little size box. That way I didn't have to you know, play a guessing game here. I can just get the exact size. You'll see that the alert has gone away because it's going to fit on the mat. And then what I'm going to do is make sure Joy is selected, which it is. I'm going to so go ahead and say make it. And then I'm going to say on the mat. Click done. Again, I showed you I'm using three different materials. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'm using three copies, so it will do three mats. So I'm going to say apply, and then that gives me three mats to work with. And then I can go ahead and click continue. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and browse all materials. So for my scrapbook paper and my cardstock, I will go ahead and just use the medium cardstock. Um, that will work just fine. And then for, I'll go ahead and star that so it pops up in there. And then for the vellum, there's not a specific material for vellum if you go down to the paper setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use deluxe paper. So I'm just going to select that click done, and then I am going to do less pressure. So I'll go ahead and cut that first, and then I will change my selection to the cardstock selection for um, the other two materials that I am going to cut out. Okay, so the first one I'm sending through again is the vellum. So I'm just going to place this on my mat, 
and then I will put it right into the machine. Again, the machine selection that I am going to use is deluxe paper with less pressure. Okay, so this one is done and it looks like it did a pretty good job. It looks like we had a couple places where it got a little bit messy, but I think for the most part it did really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the mat. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to remove the surrounding area first. And I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of surgery in one little corner here that just cut a little funky, which can happen sometimes. So let me go ahead and just cut that. Okay, so I am just removing the material I don't want first. And then there's just one little area that has a boo-boo. So for the most part, that worked really, really well. So I am going to just bend my mat. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my tweezers and grab one little piece of that. And I'm just going to gently pull this up off of the mat. Okay. Okay, so now we have this little piece that is going to be rolled up into a flower in just a little bit. So I'm gonna set this to the side. It looks really, really cute. It actually did a pretty good job. Again, there's only one little piece that has a little boo-boo on that, but it will work out just fine. It's a little clear on that because it's vellum, but you guys will see it in just a second. So now I'm going to go ahead and place my cardstock, um, my little scrap paper piece, which is, it's really thick, so I'm calling it cardstock, but it's scrapbook paper. Um, and I'm gonna place that through next on that medium cardstock setting. Okay, so this one is done. It's going to unload, and then we can take this one off the mat. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to slowly remove this paper really gently. And again, this, when you remove the bigger piece, it takes away all of the area that you're not going to need and just leaves on the mat, the actual portion that you're going to use. And then again, I'll just grab my tweezers and grab one little edge of that and gently bring this up off of the mat. So I can just grab little portions and it comes off really, really easily. like this. Okay, so we can set that one to the side and then we'll make our last little cut. Now for the cardstock piece and the scrapbook paper, I was on just default pressure. So I didn't change any pressure settings for those final pieces. Okay, so here's our final little cut. And I didn't end up using the spatula. I thought the tweezers ended up working better for this project, but I believe there's another set of tweezers that come in the basic tool set that you can use as well. But anything just to kind of help you gently pull those up off of the mat will work just fine. So let's go ahead and get started rolling these up. So I have my hot glue all ready to go and we're going to get these now looking like some real flowers. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this flower right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want this side to be the side that we see on the top of the flower. So I'm gonna do the color that I wanna see, the color side up. So I'm going to take this tool and what this tool does is it has a little, it's hard to see, but it has a really small little slit in the top where you can slide your paper right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that right in. Okay, so once my paper is inside, what I can do is I can just bring it right to the edge and then I'm gonna start rolling this. So I'm gonna go ahead. Now there's two sides to this paper flower, as you'll see. There is a side that has a circle on it that's right in the middle, and then there's the side at the, at the edge. So you wanna start with the side at the edge. The circle base is how we are going to connect it all at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead again, insert this right here, and then I am going to start rolling in. So now I'm just gonna start rolling to the left, okay? And I'm going to make sure that right here, this stays lined up at the bottom. So I'm gonna do my best to keep the bottom edge lined up with one another. And don't stress too much if it gets off a little bit, but do your best to just keep that bottom lined up. And then you'll get your groove with it and then you can start rolling a little bit faster. This tool really makes quick work out of rolling paper flowers because it just makes it so easy. It's really easy just to roll it with this tool. Okay, so I'm doing a good job of keeping my edge all lined up down here. 
And now I'm just going to continue rolling, rolling, rolling. And you'll see it start to take shape and form and it will start looking more and more like a flower the more you roll. So you're rolling fairly tightly at this point and keeping a good grip on it to make sure it all stays really, really tight. Okay. Keeping the bottom lined up. Okay. And then you can keep kind of pushing it in together if you need to maintain alignment with that bottom and keep it even. So just kind of do some checking as you go. And then you can unroll it and kind of start over a little bit if you need to. Okay, now once you near the end, what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece off and then I just kind of tighten it up a little bit with my fingers and then I'm going to slowly just let it go and just kind of let it unravel a little bit and that just kind of lets it loosen up so that you can really get a nice um it kind of lets it fall naturally into the places it wants to be and you get a nice little flower so everything looks like it's kind of loosened up to where it wants to be so what i can do is i'm going to turn it over and i'm going to just kind of lift this up and i'm going to get my hot glue and i'm just going to place some hot glue on the base here and then I'm going to take that circle base and just place that right down over it. And that is just going to pretty much seal it and get everything just to stay put. Now you can add a little glue, see how this part is wanting to kind of go away from everything else. So I can just add a little glue right here and get that just to stay put. You can just kind of add glue wherever your heart desires to get everything just to kind of stay where you would like it. But it stays intact very, very well, and then you have a cute little flower. I think that turned out really, really sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that to the side. Again, it leaves a nice clean base at the bottom when you can just glue that circle onto the bottom. It kind of really leaves it with a nice clean look. Oh, and then also this is what that double-sided is going to look like then. So on the other side, it just kind of adds a little interest to have another little print on the other side. It's very subtle, but it's there. And then you have the pink, which again is the side that you wanted uh, face up. Okay, so now this is the double-sided cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to insert my uh, little tool and then I'm going to roll to the left and then make sure that I keep my alignment where I would like it on the bottom, keep it all lined up. And then once you're on your second flower, you might feel like you're kind of getting into your groove, finding out how you like to place your hands on the um, paper flower to keep it all you know, aligned. So you might find that you go a little quicker, but take your time. If you're not going quicker with your second one, you might be there on your third, um, but it's not a race. So just go nice and slow and make sure it stays lined up. Okay, so I have the second one just about done. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue the bottom. So I'm just gonna get this kind of placed right where I want it. I kind of just fold this little flap back so that I can get some glue on the base here. And then place that little cap, if you will. I guess it's kind of like a little cap um, right on the bottom. And then again, you can add any glue around the sides that you want once you have um, finished it and let it roll out a little bit. So that actually looks really good. I don't think I need to add any other, well, I might actually add just a little bit right here. Sometimes that outer edge just needs a little bit of help getting to stay put, but it just takes a little bit of glue and you're all done. Okay, so that is the second one. That one looks really, really neat. Again, that was just with the double-sided cardstock that's the same color. Very, very pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the vellum piece. This is gonna look really, really neat. And then I had a little tiny bit that just got a little snag on it when it was cutting, so I'm just gonna shape it a little bit, but that's to be expected. We were trying out just a random cut setting to see if it would work, and I would actually call that a success because it only really snagged in one little area, so that did pretty well. Okay, so now I'm going to, again, just place my little tool on the edge here. And then I'm going to start rolling, rolling, rolling. And this is 
substantially thinner. Again, this is vellum, so very, very thin. Okay, and then I'm rolling up right here, that area that I had a little boo-boo. And you know what? Once it gets rolled up in there, you can't even really see it. So try not to worry too much if you get an imperfect cut in a spot or two, because really in the grand scheme of things, you can always roll it up and see how it looks, because most likely you probably won't even see it. So you can just see how it looks in the end. So I'm just gonna go a little bit quicker. And I'm just nudging the bottom to make sure it stays lined up and keep I keep checking it just to make sure I'm in alignment here. Okay. Okay, so now I am right at the end. I'm going to take it off of the little tool. And again, I'm just gonna kind of tighten it and press it just to make sure it gets really, really tight. And then I'm going to let it just kind of unroll a little bit. Ooh, that one looks really, really neat. Okay. Okay, so now it's unrolled and it's kind of, you know, just kind of finding its groove and finding its movement there to where it wants to be. And then I'm going to turn it over and place my glue on the back, just kind of removing this little cap out of the way. Okay, so I'm just placing that glue on the bottom here. And I will place a little bit of glue just around the perimeter again on the inside just to get those little petals to stay raised up on the side. That looks really cute though. Okay, so I just placed a little glue around the perimeter as well. It looks really, really good. So one thing I noticed about the vellum one is it ha the middle has a bigger opening in it, just the way it unrolls. So what we, you could do is you could place a little jewel in there. That would be really pretty. You could place some type of little really tiny pom-pom um, or something in there just to cover that space up. Or you could leave it, honestly, it's just clear because of that hot glue. So it's just kind of transparent and taking on a pink look. So you could also leave it as is. But that's the one thing I did notice is where these are really, really tight in the middle. This one has a pretty hollow um, middle inside. So it kind of leaves you some room to decorate it inside as well. I hope you guys liked these. I think they turned out really cute. But I wanted to just show you what the size um, looks like on the Joy when you are making little paper flowers. So it's totally doable and they turn out really, really sweet. They're very fast to make too. Again, you can cut a bunch of them and then by using this tool, you can just roll, roll, roll and do it very, very quickly and make really quick work out of it. So I hope you found these really, really cute. I think they turned out really sweet and I think they would make for a really, really fun project to decorate. All right, everyone, if you think these turned out really sweet, be sure to give this a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.